good afternoon from Frome. Now, is it Frome or is it From? 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 <laughs> I am here with Bramley and Lily and Lionel, and I'm so excited to be here. Basically, they've invited us on a cute little trip. I've got all the bits here to celebrate their new collaboration. So, this is Lily and Lionel for Bramley, and they give me some of their bits. I'll show you that in a second. But let me just show you this room. This is so cute. So this is the bath arms and maybe I'll get some video outside as I'm here. But just first impressions is this is so adorable. It's like a, a little room outside of the main building and I think it looks like there's quite a few of them. So I'm assuming some of us will be staying in these little rooms. But let me show you, it's so cute. So this is the little area outside. And as you come in, you're invited in with this gorgeous big bed. Like, look at the size of it. This looks like a super king. They've got some goodies for me on the bed. I thought I'd film this before I unpack and destroy how gorgeous it is in here. We've got some coffee, tea things here. Lovely jute carpet. And a lovely big sofa. This makes me immediately want to get pillows this size. Maybe for our garage, because that is so satisfying. I love the blues, beautiful little windows looking out on the hydrangeas. Love the colour of the walls, the panelling. And look at the lovely little outfits that I've got. I, I said to them, I was like, I'm happy with any of these. And they've given me all three. <laughs> that is just so generous. Look how gorgeous. I feel like... I might have to wear this. It depends how it looks on, obviously, because you want to feel comfy, but this is so cool. Look at this print. And then this is just so me. Like, you know how much I love floral um, floaty dresses. So, yes, this is a bit of me, but I want to look at all the stuff they've given me because it just looks gorgeous. I always feel dubious about putting cameras really far away, but then I remember that you can. I can just do that. Um, I'm sorry if I'm going to touch my hair a lot. I've been travelling and my hair is bothering me. I don't have a hair clip, so... Oh, so look. Oh, oh my gosh, this is beautiful pyjamas. I worry that you're so far away you won't be able to see the stuff I'm showing you. Oh my gosh, I didn't show you the bathroom. Oh my gosh, look at all the stuff. Look at all the Bramley products. Okay, so this might be the solution. First, we have, sorry if I'm sniffly as well. I've got like a really, really mild, like sniffly cold. I don't even know if it's a cold, to be honest. I feel like it's one of those I'm run down and therefore sniffling. Oh my gosh. L have you ever seen a more beautiful eye mask? Look at this. Look at the pattern. And then a scrunchie, a Lily and Lionel scrunchie. These pyjamas are so beautiful. I know that they have like a nighty and also a dressing gown and I was so tempted buy the dressing gown but these pyjamas are just too beautiful so I'm gonna wear these this evening I'll show you them on I really hope they fit oh it comes with a gorgeous bag and they're so silky oh, wow this is like really surreal because I've been on YouTube for a long time and I've had really cool experiences and so many amazing things but um I'm trying to think because I have a terrible memory but I don't know if I've been on a press trip like this before I've done like really cool events and stuff um but i've not done a like a you know like a bath and beauty and fashion kind of pr trip like that's just very very new and i guess kind of cool for me maybe some of you who've been watching forever will correct me and say no maddie you did this thing then and i've just forgotten so we've got like an itinerary i think that we have a flower pressing workshop at half four which is just like when I heard about this I was like this is just so me so we've got some oh look at that beautiful matchsticks I love that everything is coordinated we have a soothing bedside diffuser with chamomile lavender and geranium essential oils which I can smell through here I'm obsessed with bar with um diffusers and that sounds right up my street. We have a pillow mist. I use a pillow mist every night, so again, this is just for me. Oh, that smells so lovely. I think this must be a candle, a soothing room candle. 
I really like, <laughs> I'm worried I'm not gonna be able to fit this in my bag. I brought like a tiny bag. I'm sure they can give me some. Oh, I have a tote bag. I can put some of this stuff in a tote bag. Oh, look. Our sustainable viscose has been certified by the FSC to ensure all fibers are from sustainably managed sources. So that's this material here that I think is across a lot of these items, including the pajamas and probably including the clothes. But here we have a few little Bramley um, cotton pads. And I use cotton pads every day to take my makeup off. And then we've got their new skincare range. So this is like brand new. And I'm excited because Bramley is British, vegan and cruelty free. Um, and their whole thing is all about natural ingredients. So it's just right up my street. So this is their cucumber reviving eye serum with hyal hyaluronic acid and plum. And then their spearmint invigorating face wash. There's some little samples here, which is just adorable. I don't want to, everything looks so beautiful. I don't want to ruin anything. And then we've got some more things here. So let me tell you, because I feel like lots of you will be interested in this kind of thing. You're probably familiar with Bramley if you are from the UK. Um, it's often what you'll see in really nice um, hotels or pubs even, or restaurants. In the bathroom, they often have their hand wash or soaps. And I've even used their wash for Roxy, <laughs> which is lovely. So Bramley Skin, they've got a lot of products, it seems, that's coming out. So a British brand powered by nature, backed by science. With nature as our foundation and using centuries old botany, Bramley combines the knowledge of experts, practitioners and scientists with ingredients from native flowers and herbs found in wild British meadows to create powerful natural skincare. Their products are made in Somerset with pure essential oils to create wonderful strong scents with therapeutic values. So yeah, the whole thing is finding things in nature and I think that's true of their skincare range as well. It's been developed to help support your skin's natural function with vitamins, antioxidants and powerful botanical ingredients. We aim to deliver long lasting results by combining our unique apple concentrate with essential oils and nature's most active science backed ingredients. Well, that sounds the dream because that's exactly how I feel about skincare. Natural ingredients paired with science backed um, ingredients and um, formulations. That's the sort of skincare that I use day to day. So we've got things like micellar waters, toners, balms, cleansers, face wash, face scrub, eye serums, creams, masks, more serums, body oils, just so many different things, which is just so beautiful. So here we have their chamomile cleansing micellar water with apple and rose. That sounds beautiful. And also how gorgeous is the packaging? Um, don't know if it's focusing, but it's very minimal and beautiful. We have their raspberry seed illuminating face oil with apricot and rose hip. I love a face oil. Their linden restoring night serum with niacinamide and zinc. Um, this sounds great for using because I do use actives in my skincare. So this will be really restorative and moisturizing. And then we have their blackberry seed soothing face cream. And again, a soothing face cream is what I need. It's a light moisturizer, which is also good for my skin type. Um, for sensitive skin, yeah, perfect. Oh, I'm so excited. I'll try these this evening and give you my like first thoughts. Yeah, I'm very excited to be here because like I said, I just don't, I see, I watch a lot of other YouTubers do these kinds of trips. And I suppose because I'm a foodie YouTuber or I don't really do like fashion and beauty that often, I haven't been on as many. So it's really, really fun for me to share it and, and come here and, and do this so I think that I'm going to freshen up a little bit because I've got like an hour um someone Lucy who some of you might follow her on Instagram actually Lucy Mantle her Instagram is her country living she's also going to be here and I know her from chatting to her online so that'd be lovely to meet her so I will message her now quickly and just say I'm here because she messaged earlier just to say we have a quick coffee or something before we go in and then this evening we've got cocktails and then dinner and then tomorrow breakfast and I'm having a treatment as well I'm having a facial tomorrow so I'm very much looking forward to that a facial with I think all of these products um let's look at the clothes actually let's get these out so we have this beautiful silky number which is really long and it's this lovely brown terracotta color from Lily and Lionel it's so thick. I really hope this looks good. 
Um, sometimes I get self-conscious because of like my body, showing off my body too much. I, if it clings to my tummy, um, we'll see how confident I'm feeling. I'm really trying to go into this era of like embracing the fact that I'm like curvier and just wearing clothes and not caring. Because when I see other women with like curves in clothes like this, I think they look amazing. So I don't really know why I don't, I don't know. It's an issue I have. The, the outfit I'm leaning towards, which hopefully fits, I think it should. Sometimes I have problems with trousers because of my long legs. Oh no, it's got an elasticated waistband. That, okay, that's perfect. So if this fits, then I probably will wear this because this feels very me. It's got this gorgeous print and this collar, which is so much fun. And I thought this would look good with my hair color. So it's a matching set, co -ord. And I just, yeah, I'm really excited to try this on. It looks so fun. And I love that you can obviously wear these as separates. I imagine myself getting a lot of use out of those both. And then this, I just thought was the most beautiful autumnal dress. Um, it's got this lovely flower print with a zip down the middle, gorgeous little sort of Peter Pan shaped collar. And again, it's that really silky material. It's very lovely quality, really lovely quality. And then the sleeves are all puffed out and nice little belt to cinch it in. So this could be a contender. You know, I've just got to try them all on with you and we'll decide together which one I'm going to wear. What's in here? Is this some like slippers or, oh, it's a hairdryer. So I'll try and vlog as much as I can. I'm meeting new people, so it depends how um, confident. I don't know if they're going to be YouTubers or if they're going to be Instagrammers, because if they're YouTubers, they'll vlog. If they're Instagrammers, they won't. So I'll feel embarrassed to get my camera out and chat to the camera, but I will try. Yeah, I'm going to freshen up and unpack a little bit before going, going downstairs. Just doing a little bit of work, because I've got time. I feel like a kid on Christmas. Like, I was just looking around like, what's going on? Like, this life, what? <laughs> I feel like I needed this as well. I was having like, I don't know, having, having a day or having a week and this is nice. This is just, <gasps> apparently there are bees around the corner. I'm just posting basically. Um my reel, my 30 days, my tofu paneer. Just quickly gonna post that and then um, probably I'll just go to the bar because otherwise I'm just sitting here by myself. Whereas if I go in there, at least I can get chatting to people who are here and um, hopefully Lucy will arrive soon. So this is the outside. And looks like there's some little bee hives. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think this is the treatment room. How stunning. And look how gorgeous the pub is. That red creeper climbing all around it. it looks like they've got this amazing terrace area outside as well. Just so beautiful. little flower press workshop this was the one that I made I was thinking it should go in our bedroom and then I made a little card with daisies and I also put one on the envelope there all the ladies here are so nice so just was chatting away to everyone we've got like half an hour we were supposed to have a bit longer, but we were all chatting away about dogs and cats and stuff. So um, I'm gonna get in the shower. Originally I was like, oh, I should have a bath, but 
that was when we had an hour. We've only got half an hour now. So I'm just going to have a quick shower and then try on these outfits with you. Um, I was The outfit that I was thinking of wearing, a couple of the girls are wearing. So I'm now unsure if I should go for that or if I should try the other ones. We'll see. I'll try them on. I'll just wear the one that I like the best. I won't worry about if anyone else is wearing them. Maybe I'll use... I'm, I don't know if I'm going to redo my makeup. I've not really got that much on. I might leave my mascara on but use their products to wash my face so I can start my makeup again. We will, we will see. I'm going to jump in the shower. Let's try some of these products. I've got the little sample size of the face wash. I'm not going to do my eyes because I don't want to have to take my mascara off. Oh, that sounds lovely. So obviously Bramley have a lot of apple ingredients, hence the name. That's lovely because it doesn't foam up too much. I have a pet peeve with face washes that foam up too much because it usually means it's quite stripping. Obviously, I've not used too much because I'm not actually wanting to really thoroughly wash my face, but that smells, smells nice, feels nice. And then we have their micellar water and a little cotton pad. I really like that it's a spray because my cellar water goes everywhere. Feels like that will mean it will last a really long time. Feel the makeup that's come off. Obviously I don't wash my face very thoroughly because I'm trying to avoid my eyes. I don't have to redo everything. This is an eye serum. I'm just gonna use their moisturizer because the other stuff is like night serum and I don't really want to put that on and put makeup on. I adore this packaging. Look how pleasing i have i'm starting to like get to the age where not only do i want my skincare to be good skincare but i want it to look nice in my cupboard which i know maybe that seems ridiculous but i sometimes look at certain skincare and i'm like i don't know if i'm gonna buy you again because you don't look that nice you're ruining the aesthetic that is a lovely consistency i really cannot use heavy moisturizers with my skin type there are lots of moisturizers that are really popular and that almost go viral and i try them and i just can't because my skin is um it's not really oily it's like normal to oily in fact skin of me has actually stopped my skin from being super oily beautiful love the smell of that so for makeup i'm using this stuff this was sent to me actually recently well no actually no to begin with oops oh my gosh i'm spilling everything to begin with i'm going to use the bare minerals complexion rescue look how i'm having to bend down because if i was a normal sized person it'd be fine but i'm not i'm about half a feet taller than most women this concealer first i feel like i've been sharing a lot of like my makeup routines recently i don't know if it's in of interest to you but i really enjoy it when i see people share theirs and not many of them use like cruelty free stuff or vegan stuff so issue with this concealer i do like it but like loads of it comes out and then i have to blend like in mad i feel like it's a packaging error because it's a squeezy tube so you have to squeeze it and then loads comes out i'd rather apply to my skin you know like with an applicator or in a tub because you can see like I've got so much concealer on right now. We were sent this the other day from, oh there you are, haha, <laughs> from AIM. Can you see that? Amy or AIM? Yeah, Amy. Amy? I think it's Amy. Can't be AIM. Surely it's Amy. It's a powder foundation and I've been using it the last couple of days because it's really lovely. It's so easy to put on. It's like makeup that's got skincare in it so it's got lots of nice things inside. Am I focusing? It's got lots of nice things in the foundation and I love that it's like this, it's just so quick. Cause it's powder. So it means you just can literally do this and then it's really light. It's not like you've got loads of makeup on or anything. And then I'm gonna reapply this. I've already got some of it on, but the Charlotte Tilbury eyebrow gel. I ran out of my Refi one and some of you recommended this and I really love it because it's on my eyebrows now, but you wouldn't know. So I feel like I'm kind of over the laminated brow thing. I think it looks lovely. And I'm not saying I wouldn't go and have my eyebrows done again, but just the interim 
of when my hair is growing back. I just hate it. I, I feel like I don't need to be laminated them, essentially. I think if I had thinner eyebrows or if I was blonde, I'd be more tempted to keep it up. And then from Amy again, they've got this like cheek and lip tint. I would say this is nice, but it's really not very visible. It's my only criticism. I do love a blush that's visible. And as you can see, it's nice. I feel like their whole skin, all of their makeup stuff is very much for people who like natural makeup that doesn't take much time because they're not selling you like a really pigmented product that you have to like blend and spend time on. It's just the sort of thing, you just whack it on your cheek like that and then you're like, that's giving me a bit of a, a bit of a blush. So it does work, it is nice, but it's, it's not pigmented. And then highlighter, my Living Luminizer from RMS Beauty. Eyeliner, I did pack this eyeliner so do I want to put this on? Am I going to regret that? I'm going to attempt. It's hard if I've got mascara on, isn't it? Because you can't get through your eyelashes. I'm going to see if I can put a little bit of winged eyeliner. And I may regret it. It isn't perfect. But it'll do. That eyeliner, I feel like it's really wet. It isn't great if you're not like used to doing it. I feel like I haven't done this in a while. So it's a bit, it's not easy to work with. And then this mascara, I've already got it on, but I love this mascara because it's a tubing mascara and this technology is so clever because I mean, it doesn't smudge. My mascaras have been smudging so much recently. So it makes all your eyelashes very individual. And then for lipstick, we've got my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk that I wore on my wedding day. No, I wore the darker one. There's two versions of the Pillow Talk no, maybe it was this one. Well, my makeup artist told me there's two different versions. But I feel like it looked darker than this. No, I think it was the darker one. And then a little Bare Minerals lip gloss. A mineralist lip gloss. In Serenity. And that's the look. Okay, so this dress is gorge. But I don't feel like body confident enough to wear it. Um, because I feel like low-key there's a panty line situation happening. It's so beautiful that maybe on a day when I was like with Alex or like friends I know, I would feel confident. But like when you're like meeting new people, you don't also want to feel like conscious of your body. I don't know. Okay, so I think I love this, but then all the other girls are wearing it. So I'm like... Only other thing I could do is I could wear, I feel like it needs to be tucked in. One of the girls had it like tied here. I could wear this top over the dress. That could be an option. But I just think this is so cute and I feel really comfy in it. So like, I don't really mind if everyone's wearing it. Like, who cares? So I've gone for this because it's the one that I feel like is most me. It's got pockets and I've got it paired with my Vivea shoes which I think are perfect because they're very like, that's really great. I'm such a fashion blogger. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like it's really cute with the outfit. And then my handbag. And then I've got little hoopy hoops. I haven't changed my jewelry because can't be bothered. I was gonna tuck it in, but I just feel like it always looks better on my body type if it's loose, so. I mean, this is the dream. I'm literally gonna wear this so much because it's so comfy. Sorry, I can't capture it better, but there's no overhead lights in here, which is dreamy for being in here, but not great for videos. There you go. Look how flattering the trousers are. I have such issues with trousers. Actually, I've just realized, look how far they go down my, my legs. That is so rare. And the fact that they go up to my waist and um, they're not like stuck on my bum, sometimes like trousers just are so fitted around here and my thighs, these are just so lovely. So yeah, we're all gonna be matching this evening. <laughs> Good evening. I'm in my beautiful pajamas. Check these out. Oh. <laughs> 
nearly fell in the toilet. <laughs> Um, they are so silky soft and comfy and I just love the print. Like, I actually think that I'm going to wear these on Christmas Day because they feel so campy and I feel like they've got the touches of red and green. I'd feel so luxurious on Christmas Day wearing these because they're so silky. And they're like a silky material that's like heavy, so it like falls. Anyway, I'm going to take my makeup off and um, go to sleep. What a lovely evening. I'm really grateful for Bramley and Lily and Lionel for inviting me and for staying here at the Bath Arms because it was really, really wonderful. The food was incredible. They had like sharing platters and there was so many lovely vegan things and it was just so nice chatting to all the girls. There's such a nice range of women here who do different content. So there's like people who do like home and food and fashion and beauty and lifestyle and country living and travel and just a really lovely variety. And everyone is so sweet and so lovely. And we had such nice chats. It just felt like catching up with lots of friends, honestly. Um, so I really appreciate being invited on this trip because I don't get invited on loads of things. And so when I do and I get to meet really lovely people, it just feels like such a such a lovely thing so I feel so grateful to have this job and um, I'm really appreciative so I'm going to go to sleep I'm going to take my makeup off and tomorrow I think we're all going to say goodbye at breakfast and I do think I have a treatment I need to double check that but I'm, I think I have a treatment and then I'm going to go home in the afternoon so it's going to be a really nice relaxed day because I think some people might be leaving in the morning um, but I'm just going to try and take it easy and, and use it as an opportunity to relax I think I'm going to maybe do a bit of reading and try not work because I actually don't have any like work to do really because I um, edited my video already so I can yeah I'm gonna try and just enjoy it and soak up the feeling I might even um have a bath because there's a bath here with all the Bramley bath products so I might have a bath post breakfast depending on what we're doing or what, what the sitch is but I just have a feeling it's breakfast and that's it everyone's going or having treatments on their own so yeah but I'm gonna go to bed now and ring Alex take my makeup off I'm gonna use my cellar water to take this off I have a little fact let's see let's see how it does Ooh. I mean I think that's done a pretty good job considering it's just a couple swipes yes love that looking glam <laughs> Good night. Good morning, everyone. I've just got myself ready and freshened up. I've pinned my hair back. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it this way. I got these new little hair clips and boots the other day. But you know when you're about to travel and I just don't, it's very windy. I just don't really want my hair on my face, but I'm sure if I feel like it looks very like I'm a child. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, I've got myself ready and I think I'm gonna head down to breakfast. I'm just packing all my stuff and then I'm gonna see what the plan is. I'm, I was, I did have a treatment booked, but it's not till 12.30 and I didn't realize we were checking out at 10. So I'm just gonna ask them, um, but it's been so lovely. It was really nice to just sleep in a bed by myself because I'm so used to sharing a bed. Sometimes it's lovely to just spread out and I literally had one of those sleeps where I fell asleep and then just woke up. So it was a perfectly long, just ah, sleep. I'm very hungry and I'm ready for a cup of coffee. So let's go to breakfast. Just come for a little wonder. I wanna show you how beautiful it is out here. This gorgeous garden. Makes me, I really want to plant some deep red hydrangeas like this it's so beautiful I think my room is just in there look at all these stunning oh no that's my room <laughs> look at all these stunning hydrangeas <gasps> big pom poms <laughs> right, so I'm off to get my facial it's in a little hut outside. I'm very excited. I think it's gonna be very relaxing. Um, it's using, I think, the new Bramley skincare products. So I'll be all lovely and fresh-faced. <laughs> I think you 
Ruby, did you have a nice evening? Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Everyone's so nice. Good. And it looks This one is a spearmint invigorating face wash and what this does is it just really really it almost gives this, the skin a beautiful squeaky clean feel to it really good for getting into the pores a little bit deeper um, a real kind of fast product that you can use if you don't have an awful lot of time in your skincare routine but it's really good at getting into the pores mm -hmm. really good at, at, at kind of stimulating invigorating the skin really freshening it waking it up i think this might be the one that I use that they put in the room. Oh, great! Oh, yes, I think it is actually. Yeah. All the their skincare is brand new, isn't it? It's brand new. Yes, yes absolutely brand new. It's very much based around what brand new is. Um, you know, with the plant botanics and the essential oils, all the therapeutic properties, but with some real kind of punchy ingredients, coming back in real skin actives, um, like your hyaluronic acids, your niacinamides, your mm -hmm. zincs. Um, so all that is brown knife, but with a little bit more really for the skincare. Mm. It's lovely because it's all the things I like in skincare, like for it to be natural, oh my gosh, but also yes. science Yes, well, when the combination come together, mm -hmm. you've got something quite special really. And within all of the range, um, even the body, the, all the body products that we, you, we have already, but this new skin range and the spa range is the antioxidant apple, apple mm. extract. So from the apple skin, the apple flesh, and also the apple seed. So you've got in all the products this component of anti-aging, strengthening, um, protecting for the skin. Mm -hmm. did my skin I think I captured some of it and that was glorious so relaxing I properly drifted off um, and she did so much massage and we were just chatting then and she was saying that's something that I can do with my skincare at home um, so maybe I've shown you some of that she was saying that like obviously you've got all these lymph nodes here and here and down here and when you're doing your cleansers or your oils it's a great thing to do at home with whatever product you use. It doesn't have to be expensive. She was saying that it's so important how you're applying it. So to do sort of lots of these sorts of movements, going up and down, and um, just to sort of get rid of all of that water retention and toxins, rather than just sort of circling and keeping it all there. And I really get like puffy around my period. Um, so I'm 100% going to do this. I'm going to put my skincare next to my bed and do that um, in the evenings and be more mindful with my cleanser because I do have a tendency to just... <gasps> so yeah, I've learned something and I feel like my skin is looking very glowy and all those products smell so gorgeous and they feel really light. So, oh yeah, my skin feels beautiful. You know, you just that post facial, you just feel so... <gasps> And, oh, I feel so relaxed. <laughs> I think facials are more relaxing than massages, to be honest. I think they're just oh, so lovely. Hello there and good morning. Or should I say afternoon? I'm pretty sure it's the afternoon. And as you can see, I'm still in my pajamas. But to give you context, obviously um, I was on the trip 
yesterday and it took me seven hours to get home from Somerset. I live in Cornwall and the event was in Somerset. So that's only like two counties away from Cornwall. The trains are a bit lengthy because you have to kind of wiggle your way up, but the rain was really bad and it meant that there were delays that had like a knock on effect on all the train services and it ended up taking me seven hours in the end from door to door. So I'm exhausted and it was worth it, it was totally worth it because I had the loveliest time and it was a really good reminder to do more events like that because this job is isolating and in particular living in Cornwall it's isolating because there aren't loads of people living here who are YouTubers, um, Instagrammers, there are some and I know a few but even then I don't make the effort to to see people or I should do that actually to make me reflect that I should try and like reach out to more people who are in this industry in my area but yeah I don't get to do lots of those kinds of things and therefore meet these inspiring women and it really gives you this kind of new lease of life and talking to them it was such a nice selection of women because there were different age groups and people from different content areas um and i had never met any of them before um one of the girls lucy i have chatted to quite a bit on instagram and it was so nice to meet her but yeah it just made me made me feel really inspired and it was it was really lovely because all the women were so everyone was so like open and we were all chatting about deep subjects and talking about being content creators and also our lives and and i'm really grateful so thank you so much to bramley and lily and lionel for inviting me and having me because I had such a nice time and I feel like you brought together a really great group of girls and hopefully I get to go to future events and meet them again. Um, I'm unpacking now and I'm trying to like, this is what I do sometimes when I go away because I'm hard, we were talking about this actually on the trip, that we, um, even though we're content creators and we present ourselves to the world, we are also quite introverted. That's why we do this because we don't love, you know, working in an office or, um, I, I don't know, there's like maybe that balance of like, we're introverted and extroverted. I'm definitely that way. So I love being around people. I find it really new people and like, I find it really inspiring and invigorating. But then when I come home, I feel exhausted. So I'm a bit of a 50-50 one on that. Whenever I do those like personality quizzes, I'm always like half and half introvert, extrovert. A little bit more introverted though. Um, so this morning I've just been in bed and I've worked from bed and watched Big Brother and now it's midday I've just washed my face and I'm going to unpack. I always like to unpack straight away because otherwise it makes me feel gross um, and I'm one of those people that I kind of like, I don't know, I can be a bit chaotic so I like to try and give myself some structure like doing my skincare, unpacking, getting dressed and then I'm going to do my video for today which is a chickpea salad and then I'm going to probably go for a walk with Roxy and then maybe do a bit more work from bed but that's the plan i don't know it's very rainy today so it's not the kind of day i was hoping to get outside and do a bit of gardening maybe we'll go to the garden center maybe actually i'll say that to alex if i have time i'm being ambitious now this is another thing i do i give myself like hundreds of things maybe not um because i do have to edit so i will probably just unpack <laughs> i've got my lovely bag of lily and lionel bramley um pressed floral collection things um this diffuser i'm actually going to put straight in here let's give it a smell because i don't have one in my dressing room and um i thought the other day i was like i really need one in here and look how beautiful like is this not just right up my street like look at what i'm wearing this is so stunning with all the pressed flowers and i'm going to keep this if this runs out i wonder if they do refills they maybe they do um but i'm going to keep this and restock it lovely sound i do like black um reeds oh no i need scissors do i have a pair in here yes i use some little beauty scissors that's actually something i need in here is a pair of like fabric scissors or something because the amount of times i unpack things in this dressing room and i don't have proper scissors there we are that smells beautiful. What does that smell like? What is it? So it's chamomile, lavender, and geranium. Like, is that not a beautiful combination? Yeah, it definitely smells, you can smell all three of those things. Gorgeous. I'm gonna put this straight into the bedroom. Look how cute this is. 
<laughs> and we have a candle. Actually, this is also going to go in the bedroom because this is so pretty. Look at how gorgeous that is for a candle. So I'm going to put that probably on my bedside table because I think that we've just finished our candle in our bedroom. And I'm going to put this on my bedside table because it looks so pretty. My bedside table is growing. I've um, like got my oil for my nails. Like I've got a, I think it's a, it's an Osea oil and it's really beautiful oil. So I put it on my bedside table so I can put it on my hands and on my cuticles and like anywhere else before bed. Um, and then I've got like my magnesium moisturizer and my pillow spray. So my pillow spray actually has just run out. So this is perfect timing. Um, I might even put this there as like a little thing that I can use before bed. And then I'm gonna pop these skincare products in the bathroom. I've got to find a place for this lovely pressed flower frame that I made, picture I made. I think it should go in our bedroom. Let's have a look. I mean, it doesn't really match the colour scheme because it's purples, but I kind of did that deliberately so it would be different. And I was thinking, is that too much? What do you think? Do you think it's too much to hang it here? Could you hold the camera? Like if you were to hang it there, is that a bit jarring? I think it might be. Oh, Alex! <laughs> I don't know that that works. Um, Let's go in the um, bit much. green bedroom. So it looks like or a kid's bedroom. It could go in the pink bedroom, which behind the scenes <gasps> is looking like a mess because we've got all of our lights for our hallway and bits that need to go in the attic. Still got the air con. <sighs> we were having, I was actually having a moment with the girls about tradesmen, and it's so funny because um, our electrician, we tried to book him in a while ago, and he said, oh, I'm not. I'm not free this week and I text him to say hey when can we book you in and he was like oh I can come later today and it's like either one or the other it's like either I can't come for months or I can mm. come today which obviously didn't work because I was away and you were out that day yeah. but yeah. <laughs> it does make me it laugh. could go well in here yeah because you've got these because it other... could go here because I do have another Whoa. one that I didn't make I bought but I don't know where I put it let me just go have a look in the green bedroom one second. This is her, her chair. So this is the other one, which is so different. I feel like it almost looks like it's upside down. Mm. Like to me, I think that they've, oh, maybe not. But that's quite cool that they didn't have a piece of paper, but like, what does that look like from afar? Obviously they're different. You could put one on each one. You could put one there, one there, you know? I feel like it really does suit the vibe in here. Like, I feel like this room, I just want it to be uber girly. That's quite nice. So we've got to decide whether one on top of the other. Um, you can't really or see one it. on each. I'd like to see one when you sort of poke your head in the room. Yeah, because um, yeah, I think you could do one on top of the other and then maybe, I think that's the thing that we haven't done enough of is family pictures and wedding pictures. I did set Alex a challenge that he failed because I said when you went home to get some family pictures and you didn't. Mm. Maybe this time. Because mm. I want to, we also need to print some of our wedding pictures. And I think in here could be a cute one for like maybe some baby pictures or like pictures when, I don't know, if your parents when they were younger or my parents when they were younger or something, could be quite cute. Because this room probably will become a kid's room. And so it can be, I think, well, why don't we find like a picture of you as a baby and me as a baby and put that in here, that'd be cute. I've got a little picture of my dad as a baby over here, look. Baby. Which is so funny because I feel like he does look like me as a baby here, like as a toddler, that looks like me. Yeah. When he gave it to me, yeah. I was like, I can Chubby really, cheeks. but I can see that, look, that looks like me so much. Anyway, the next vlog, hopefully the next vlog, if we have time. This weekend, I'm gonna try and do loads of the finishing bits in these rooms, cause it's bothering me. And I tend to do this thing, kind of like builders do, where you start a project, you do most of it, and then there's like the little bits at the end and you just get bored and you don't do them. So like in here, there's like a bit that I was supposed to sand that I haven't. We haven't put pictures up. There's loads of stuff that needs to go in the attic. And there's like, yeah, little things. We need to put trim around this door and the other door. And I'm gonna try and 
start finishing some of those things so that these rooms can be like 100% done. And we need to get the plumber to do our radiator. She was just putting her nose. <laughs> she, look how grubby she's made this chair. It was already a bit grubby. But it needs to be have a bissel. <laughs> yeah. This picture I think would look good here. And then I've got these. And then. That's the bit I need to sand. I've got these lampshades and I just need to find some little, I want to find like a little table and a little lamp for mm. there. Maybe we should like do that this weekend, focus on one of the rooms, this room or the green room and just do it and finish it. Could be fun. My bag is unpacked. I actually organized some of my drawers the other day. I bought loads of these um, plastic containers for our fridge and it was really ambitious because I saw lots of videos on TikTok and this is where I'm a little bit impulsive sometimes um, and people organizing their fridges and I was like, I want that. Um, but the thing is, I don't buy pre-bought food that neatly fits into these packages every single week and restock them. I buy ingredients and it varies from week to week. Then I have lots of leftovers, etc. So the fridge was kind of becoming too full of these and not enough space for things like leftovers or different kinds of ingredients. But I realized this drawer was getting really disorganized. I had a couple of like cardboard sort of boxes from various things. I think this was maybe for sunglasses or a watch or something, um, but there wasn't enough separation. I only had like a couple of them. And so I've used them to separate all of my hair stuff. And I um, I bought some new hair ties the other day because everyone knows that there is a black hole when it comes to hair ties and hair clips. And it always baffles me because I always buy a new pack, like, I don't know, every year or so, and they always disappear. And I'm like, where do they go? Where do they go? <laughs> but yeah, I got um, some new hair clips and hair ties and then these to clip my hair back. They're all from Kitsch, who, um, they make a lot of hair stuff that it uses, like recycled materials, so I think that's quite nice. Um, so we've got my hair stuff, clips, hair brushes, hair ties, um, hair products. Here's some of my favourites. I actually recently got this from Jonathan Van Ness, who I love, and this is amazing. This really works. Like, um, I bought it thinking I love him and his stuff is cruelty-free and vegan, so I'll try it. But it makes my hair so much more volumised on top, and it was quite significantly different and my hair was bothering me a little bit recently and I feel like I've, I'm loving it again so I, I actually think it's thanks to this giving it that volume and that shape at the root um I love this Charles Worthington uh heat protector because his stuff is also cruelty free obviously I love Aveda I go to an Aveda salon this uh leave-in treatment is lovely and then also Ramen Reason has been a product that I've loved because they have also kind of, I guess because it's for wavy hair, it works a lot better for my hair type than some of the other gels that I was using that made my hair maybe a little bit heavier. I do like my hair to feel soft and kind of look a bit more romantic rather than looking very neat and tidy. So this works really well if you've got wavy hair to, to structure your curls but not make them too weighed down. And then I've got some of my smaller hair products. This Olaplex that has literally lasted me, I feel like, a year or two by now. I have still got to get through it because you only need like a pea size amount. Some Aveda things that I use when I'm wearing my hair straight. And then we've got loads of lip products. I did not realize I had so many, but they were all like buried in different drawers. They, these are my favorites, the Typology lip oils, but we've got Ren Primer, um, Bare Minerals Eye Cream, and then lots of like Atik lip products, um, Body Shop, and then um, Up Circle Eye Cream. Sometimes my eyes are a little bit dry before I put makeup on, so they're in there. And it's all nice and organised. I think that Roxy just sat in there. <gasps> Is this... I thought that Zeus was licking Roxy then. They, they are really like getting so much closer, it's so cute. This is monumental for a cat who ran away because of a dog. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're so cute together now. She looks so grumpy. Because <laughs> she's not had her you know what. <laughs> 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 